I'm here with Dr. Mangit with the Mangit Plastic Surgery Institute and Skin Care, and it's so good to see you, and it's so wonderful to be in your relatively new facility here in Avon. Yes, so we're almost two years into this new facility, having been in Edwards before, and uh, we're excited about where we are, and uh, you know, uh, because we're able to offer so many more services in, in an expanded way. And, and it's so great that you're here and you're able to do uh, what you're able to help us with, with plastic surgery. You focus on face and neck and up. You know, we've, over the years, become what the Valley represents, mm -hmm. which is excellence. Yes. You know, uh, there's excellence in sports medicine, there's excellence in all kinds of outdoor facilities. And we feel like we provide the same kind of excellent care when it comes to plastic and reconstructive surgery. Mm -hmm. And in my case, I specialize in the face and neck. That's what I've always done. And uh, so it's, it's something that's very personal to people. And we try to deliver a product that not only looks good, but it looks natural. Yeah. And which is what people in this valley want. You know, they're extremely fit. They're outdoors all the time and they feel young. So we complement that by making them look as young as they feel. I know. I mean, these people, they're climbing 14ers, they're, they're biking up Vail Pass. That's right. And a lot of times, we still feel like we're 20s and 30s and that sort of thing. And we, um, you know, Mother Nature, Father Time, sometimes um, does a little number on our skin and our face, our facial muscle, muscles. Absolutely. Living at altitude where, you know, 300 plus days of sunshine a year, it does take a toll on the skin. Uh, and it perhaps accelerates the aging process in many ways. So people that are feeling youthful and are able to do all of these things, they're living longer. So we try to match that yeah. by rejuvenating their face and improving them in a reasonable way that you know they feel good about themselves, mm -hmm but it doesn't announce to the world that they've done something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and know? you guys are very discreet. You have a very uh, boutique feel to your facility here. Yes. We've got the, the two surgical suites and, and also just the team approach and the, the consultations. I mean, you really go through this and you personally get to know the client and find out exactly what their needs are, but also you'll, you'll let them know if maybe they aren't a right candidate at that time. You know, we, Steve and I, my partner, we, we love doing what we do because it's all about relationship building. Yes. And so we treat each person individually and cater to their needs and individualize the care so that they, it's not the same cookie cutter thing for everyone. So we, we kind of provide what each person needs and uh, we're able to do it in a setting that's private, that's safe, that's state-of-the-art, and uh, that allows people to feel like, oh, they're not sick and they're not yeah. having to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's what we have. Yeah, and well, you know what? You've received so many awards, accolades, accreditations. You're so well-respected in this medical field. What just made you decide to get into facial plastic surgery? Well, when I was going through residency, I... Um, I realized that I liked doing fine meticulous surgery rather than the big blood and guts type of yeah. surgery. <laughs> and some of my uh, mentors uh, felt that I was best suited for plastic surgery in the face and neck. Mm -hmm. And that's really what got me started. And once I got into the field during my training, I realized this is exactly where I belonged. Yeah. And uh, so that's... The rest well, is we're history. glad you are here because you, you've done such a great work. And um, what's the most rewarding thing about your job helping people? Well, the most rewarding thing is what happens after surgery. When we've uh, fulfilled what the individual wanted done and you see a smile on their face, whether it's a teenager that had a nose that was not very attractive or an even younger individual had very prominent ears that they were self-conscious about, or a person who's been through a difficult time one way or another, and they wanted to feel good about themselves, and they did this procedure, and that's what's most rewarding, yeah. to see that person who is happy, satisfied, and can move on with their life.